hello there my lovely heartbeats and welcome back to another video here on my channel so this is a requested video from one of you my lovely heartbeats my subscribers and this is my um one of my latest creations this is preemie silicone baby bella and she is a um full body anatomically correct silicone baby girl she was sculpted and poured by um, Yofi from Yofi's Babies. <clears throat> so here she is. I painted her. Um, I wanted to, um, this was my first time painting with a airbrush. So this, she's a little bit of an experiment baby and I think she came out really, really good. Um, I wanted to give her a biracial color, but I did not want to go too dark. So she did wind up a little lighter than I, um, I kind of imagined her to be, but I think she can still pull off that light, um, biracial baby, a Caucasian baby, um, even in a light skinned African American baby. I think she can still pull that off just depending on your preference or if you just would like a um a beautiful baby you know she falls in that category too and here i'm just showing you um her rooting she has she has been this is micro and mono rooted so it's not all just one hairs there are um there are a few that have um like two or three hairs per hole but as you can see um, it's very natural she has a very natural swirl there in the top of her head um, she was rooted in the color of light brown and she has a few blonde highlights I wanted to keep that hair thin because her um, the painting on her head is like so wonderful I don't even know if the camera is picking up um, the veining that you can see underneath her hair painting that's in in her scalp or on her head I don't know if you can see that but it's very detailed looks very nice very beautifully rooted and I also gave her rooted eyebrows so her eyebrows have been rooted and they have been sealed matted to seal them in place and she has rooted eyelashes her eyelashes are so fine that you can barely see them but they are there they are there she has beautiful natural natural looking eyelashes because it's nothing worse than giving our dolls lashes that look like you know wings so yes and I can take off her little hand mitts here she has beautifully beautifully tipped painted and tipped nail beds get her turned around here so I can bring them into the camera and show them she got a little string of hair even though I got my bonnet on you know silicone likes to pick up every single little thing try to get those nail beds in there is it blurry can you see it and this hand can you see that little hand there I hope it's not blurry but there's the other little hand there really really cute Let's see I'm trying to um, do this with one hand y'all with my camera so forgive me for being my own camera woman right here today and See, now this will be a little too close. Um, she is, I'm not sure what softness she's poured in, what equal flex she's poured in. Um, it's a little firmer. Um, she's firmer in her core. She's firmer at the top of her thighs. But her little arms here are really soft. Her hands are really soft. Her feet. Her feet are a little firmer. Her feet feel a little firmer also. But I can take that off and you can get a good look at her little toes here. 
show you them little toes because her toes came out really good I don't know if how you seeing it there but I hope you hope you seeing it good those are the little toes the little bottoms of her feet she got the little wiggly jigglies <laughs> she's got the little wiggly jigglies but um she's not too firm and she's not really small for her to be a um she is a 15 inch preemie and she's about four and a half pounds but i am going to put journey next to her beside her so you can see what she looks like actually laying down next to a full body um what would be considered to be a um, larger newborn or a small three month size silicone baby i'm gonna lay journey down beside her let me just get a little space and as you can see my baby girl is ready for this kansas doll show if she finds a new mommy within um the time because the doll show is this weekend so if she finds a mommy before this weekend she will be going home in that kansas doll show preemie onesie that i bought at the show last year and this is the first baby that it has worn so it was brand new right out of the package brand new right out of the package i just put it on yesterday so now you can see let me zoom out a little bit you can see her next to journey you can see her next to journey and journey is a lot bigger but not too much you know she's not just a teeny tiny little thing that you really can't do anything with or that you really wouldn't be able to dress she is still a nice size baby that you can um, still do things with journey's legs are a little bit let me straighten them out so you can see there that's the difference between their feet it's about mm, maybe two and a half inches and then here at the heads from there to there i'd say that's about another three inches maybe two and a, yeah three three and a half inches so it's probably about a five and a half six inch difference between these babies so this is a 15 inch and journey is about a 21 inch or maybe 22 with straight legs of course my phone want to ring so you can see the difference in these two sizes of these babies. Bella is a truly a nice size baby. Say hey Journey. People haven't seen you in so long. And the first video they're going to see you on is somebody else's video. <laughs> well that's okay. Because Journey will be getting her own video up very, very, very shortly. She has a video coming. So um, another thing I wanted to ask you guys. Because I want to make some of these to send home with her because i only have one and i don't have any pampers that are actually this size i'm gonna cover up her little girly parts here y'all can y'all tell me what this material is made out of is it felt is it just cotton i want to know what is it it's like almost like a burp cloth on this side but the other side what material is this because I wanted to make some of these so I went and I bought um, I bought some elastic and I bought some velcro for the attachments and I got some um, I bought some material I got some cotton but it's not like this and I wanted to know what exactly is this cotton or what is this fabric if anyone could um politely kindly tell me what is the name of this fabric so i can um so i can make some cloth diapers and as a thank you i will send you um i'll probably send you a set of two if anybody can get on here and let me know what type of material what type of fabric i can use for my cloth diapers i want this white though i want this fuzzy white like this so if somebody can get on, I will personally make you um, two in any size um, that you request for your help for assisting me in making these diapers. But again, for the um, for my lovely heartbeat that um, requested this video, thank you so much. Thank you. Say thank you for requesting to see me. 
I really appreciate it. So this baby is live. Um, her listing is up on eBay right now. If you're interested, if you're interested, you can get look on eBay and see more detailed photos of her, and you can read the description. Um, it's probably just pretty much everything that I said here in this video. But yeah, you can look at her pictures and you can decide if you want to buy her. I really like to sell her um, off of eBay so we both can avoid those eBay fees. Um, you can pay through PayPal. That way the seller and the buyer um, are both protected. But yeah, we don't have to pay all those extra fees. So I was really hoping to sell her um, off of eBay but um yeah if you're interested you can get this little one off of eBay and all my babies go home with a beautiful box opening yeah all my babies go home with a beautiful box opening and this little one has a special box opening so we had to go to Somerset and get some special things for me okay yes honey because she is a special baby so thanks for watching if you are not subscribed to this channel I ask that you take the time and subscribe right now if you have not gave this video a thumbs up I ask that you take advantage of this time and give this video a thumbs up right now and we will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye